sorry the, the voice was a bit loud then, it's a pity you didn't like that on this phone, but uh, I did put a little bit of a warning at the beginning of that video that the sound would go up towards the end, and I think a few of you had your eardrums popped by that, but sorry about that. Um, anyway, this is our sole cavalryman here, that's forced this unit of parliamentary foot into hedgehog, so that's displayed as this with the, uh, what happens now is that in inch direction, instead of a full four dice, because they're now pointing virtually in an arc of four arcs, each direction will only get one dice, so that cuts their firepower down a lot, so they can't really stay in that until long, especially with this lock towards them because they're pretty soon, even though they're going to half speed, going through here they're going to be in range to really give them some hammer and they'll only be able to return with one dice so that really needs, that cavalry unit really needs sorting, it's causing them a real nuisance. And at the end of the last turn, as you remember, this unit had fired, so they'll now be loading and uh, we shall uh, throw for initiative. Is Parliament initiative. Right, well, they're frantically reloading, so they can move if they wish, but they're not going to. They're going to finish reloading, so I shall take them away, fire buttons away. Um, they, because that cavalryman is about, oh, you can see, about seven inches away. medium range, so I'm going to let them throw that one dice for the quarter, it went on the quarter arc, at that cameraman to try and bring him down so that they can get out of this formation. Because it's medium range, it's only a negative two on the dice, so we'll see how they do. And it's a three. Is obviously take the two off. We've got one casualty, and that is enough. So, bye bye, Mr. Pain in the Butt. Parliament, uh, Royalist cavalryman, he can go stay over there for a while. So, they've now successfully got rid of him. So, now the next move, they will be able to come out of um, the headshot and fall line again. It will take them a full move to do that. Right, now, the, uh, Roy the Royalists, this unit can fire, it is at maximum range, they've lost two men, musketeers, one on each musketeer stand, but that still gives them a total of 14, which is just one below 15, so they'll get three die, and it's long range, so it'll be three, negative three from each die roll. So don't count, but that six gives them three casualties. So like I did with the Royalist for the Powerman, I shall remove one from each stand. Place on the fire tokens to show that they are fired. And I'll move on to this unit, who are going to advance. They will move forward two inches. Travelling through the cops, but this sleeve actually missed the cops, so they can move full four inches, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do the movement and come back to you. Right, I've done the movement, um, because of them trees and rocks in the way, these pikemen are picking their way through them, so really they're in a line here with this unit, but I'm just going to leave. However, this unit did move forward its four inches, and it's now just eight inches from this unit. Now, you remember that this unit has got to use a full turn to get back into uh, line formation so they could be uh, open to two dice from that unit. Uh, right, I'll remove. 
up all these casualties now, and then we'll throw the game for initiative. Right, throw for initiative again on this round, and it is Batman once again. Now, this unit has now reloaded the Royalist officers that were frantically reloaded. That unit is going to use its turn to redeploy. tokens from them because next time they'll be able to turn their fire sorry but these will have to will be reloaded. Right so I'll, I'll change them into uh, line ahead formation to use their turn and get rid of these two casualties. Right that's now done. That unit has now changed back into uh, line formation. This unit's now reloading next move this unit will be able to fire. They can't fire this turn because obviously they've just moved and you can't move and fire on the same round. So we should all uh, roll for initiative again. Five each, strike in. Four and a six, so power them once again. So, they've just turned it. They're reloading, so they can't fire. So it comes down to uh, the right this time. These, this unit can fire with two dice, because there's a full eight of them. So they'll get two dice, and they can fire onto this unit. And it's medium range, so you only need to take off two. end of the line, I'm going to make that four from the musketeers and three from this pike unit. I'll leave this, this one unscathed, see if they bear this away. But that was one hell of a, of a casualty list. Now here, our guys are down to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Round that off. Um, it's it's halfway point, so I'm going to just give them two. 